This is a Strider 14X, which has been modified for mountain riding. We made three simple modifications that you can do yourself, and I'll show you how to in this video, that make this a much more capable mountain bike. The first modification was to add hand brakes for better stopping power. Second, knobby wheels for better bump absorption, traction, and stopping power. And the third was to shorten the exposed seat post so we didn't keep catching it on rocks. I'll show you how to do these things in this video. This is a bigger bike than the Strider 12 and a little heavier. It can be harder to stop with small feet. So I wanted to put a little bit of extra brake power on here and give my son a, some practice using some hand brakes. So what I did, I went on Amazon and Sunlight sells a 69 to 96 millimeter caliper uh, brake. And this is the rear that I couldn't put on, but you can see how I got the front on here. The Strider 14X comes with a hole for this at the perfect height. And all you gotta do to get access to that hole is take out the plug that's normally underneath right here. You can see this plug, you can just pry it out with a screwdriver and it comes out pretty easily. And from there, it's a pretty straightforward installation. You can see I've got these pretty nicely centered. Very smooth actuation. And I've adjusted the hand brake so that it is very close to the grip. And it won't take much for his little fingers to yank on that. And it's uh, you know, a little bit of lubrication, some silicone lube or brake lube. Does a good job keeping this nice and smooth. The next step is to put some mountain worthy tires on this bike. The ones that come with a Strider 14X are pretty smooth. They don't have a lot of width or grip. We got is some Sunlight 14 by 2.125. These are some pretty good knobbies. They're going to be a little bit wider than the wheels that we've got on there. It should be a pretty straightforward process. These are about $15 each, and uh, I, think, I think it should fit just nicely inside this frame. Let's go ahead and take off the old wheels. Okay, we've got the bike upside down here. Got a 15 millimeter ratchet. Should come off pretty easily. Okay, we got the new wheel on. Seems like a nice tight fit. I actually had to use tire levers to get this one on. The old ones came off so easily, I barely needed the levers. Next step is get this inner tube back in. Pump it up just a little bit. Wiggle it around to make sure we've got no pinches and get it on the bike. we got the front wheel on now. Check those brakes again. You can see they're pretty well balanced. We've got this tire inflated to about 25 PSI, which should have just a bit of give in the dirt for a three-year-old. I might tweak it later, but for now, this should be good. Let's get on the back wheel. The third thing we need to fix is this terrible seat stem. When the seat is lowered pretty far down for the littler ones, it causes a real problem with clearance. This thing catches on rocks and curbs and causes accidents. We don't want that. Anything we can do to improve this is going to be a good thing. We happen to have a Strider 12 that has a shorter seat stem, and we're going to use that to replace this. They do have the same diameter, so it should be a pretty straightforward swap. You'll notice the holes in the seat stems that secure the bolts to the saddle are different sizes. This is not a problem. We will simply use the smaller bolt in the larger saddle. And there we go. You can see even with the seat lowered all the way, we have almost no exposure of the seat stem. So we should be clearing those rocks much better than we were before. There you have it, a Strider 14X capable of mountain riding. Remember there will be back brakes when he gets to the point that he's ready for the pedals and that coaster brake, but for now front brakes are better than no brakes, and I think this is going to improve his confidence and his skills on the mountain. Remember to like this video so others can find it. Thank you.